day for football fans in the country. Why am I saying so? Now, Football Kenya Federation has signed a seven-year, $1 million deal with the sports broadcaster Azam. Now, this deal will see Football Kenya Federation Premier League matches broadcasted on Azam, which means that Kenyans who love football will get a chance to watch their favorite players on pay TV. So, it's a very, very big uh, deal when you talk about football in the country. Remember, it's been a while since uh, Kenya had uh, a football broadcasting uh, partner. So this probably will ensure that the levels and standards of football in the country move uh, a notch higher. So to help me, you know, digress into what was signed here today is none other than the standard uh, standards uh, sub-editor for sports, uh, Rogers Eshtemi, who witnessed uh, that uh, the signing of that deal here at the Boma Inn. Good, after good afternoon, Rogers. How are you? Good afternoon, Robinson. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Uh, a big, big deal this is uh, for Kenyan football. Absolutely. This should be like a new dawn because we have been in the darkness for a long period since uh, the, the time of uh, start times and then super sport. And having seen a seven-year deal being signed today, that shows that indeed maybe those players whose the host talent has not been an art or rather through the television broadcasting this is the moment they can get that opportunity again and looking also at the monetary value that has been pumped into it uh, it is an indication that indeed azam mean business and uh, having pumped like uh, one million dollars for that increasing seven year deal that's absolutely phenomenal and i feel also as per that deal you understand also it will be like increasing of one hundred one hundred thousand dollars per year so it tells that indeed apart from the uh, the production part of it this man of course will go into the clubs and you know our clubs have been struggling and uh, a wake-up call for other people who think maybe uh tv 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 wasn't coming back to kenya but it is and it's a big 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 step towards the growth of the kenyan football so to say mm -hmm. big step towards the growth of kenyan football i mean we've seen or rather we've heard what they had to say that it's a seven-year deal one million dollars uh you know deal and then uh they've said that each year as you've rightly put it that it, uh, the deal goes up by a hundred thousand kenya shillings but now you know a uh, hundred thousand uh, dollars brother and uh, the big question comes in uh, when you talk about management uh and uh the Yaya Mohamed, who's the COO of Azami in Kenya, said that, uh, you know, if we are putting this money here, we want to see better management in football. What are your thoughts? He was uh, black and white, and he never means his words. And uh, understand from what they have done before in Tanzania. Remember, they have been in Tanzania for almost 10 years, so to say. And whatever they have been done in Tanzania is uh, something that is recommendable. And everybody loves to see Tanzanian football. But what they have done there now, it's for them to pull it and bring it to the local scene here in Kenya and uh, I'm confident with good management because they have put the managers and the administrators of Kenyan football onto task to ensure that every, everything runs correctly they should avoid those side shows and just ensure everything runs on the pitch and I understand from what uh, Mohammed said also they are planning maybe to start with four matches maybe airing the four matches first and then after that they'll take the hundred percent of the broadcasting and that's a good good deal because you understand also our facilities are not up to task but they have already had an agreement with the federation in regard to that because also he had suggested about the evening matches and the night matches and you understand the two stadia we have that is kasarani and uh, Nya stadium they have been under renovation so i believe maybe by the time maybe we come to the end of the year those stadiums will be uh, on the good uh, standards and Maybe, who knows, we can be coming back to the night football that is at Nya and Kasarana. And uh, it's really, really interesting deal, so to say. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Shitemi, before I let you go, I want us first to listen in to what uh, Football Kenya Federation President Nick Mwendwa and uh, the Azam COO, Yahaya Mohamed, had uh, to say on uh, this deal as they were unveiling it. He contract in Yamiaka Saba. Seven-year contract. Our attack mambo fupi fupi ya kuenda unasikia zamani walikuja wakaanza deal alafu sijui wakafanyiwa nini ikakuwa ngumu oh pia wako wanajua mambo vizuri sasa ndio wamejua umesikia yaksa sisi pia sasa tumezoa tumejua hii maneno sasa tulikuwa na mpira kwa simu tulikuwa nayo kuna wale jamaa wengine waliondoka ndio waliharibu ilifanya vizuri ndio mje sasa sisi miaka saba tunawapatia kandarasi na yeye anataka kuhakikishia Taki uwe na wasiwasi na mambo ya ratiba. Ratiba vile unavyotaka ndiyo tutafanya. Tuntaka tu utuelewe kwa sababu kuna sazingine usiku 
hatutaweza kucheza. Lakini naona ni mwaka mmoja tu viwanja wetu vinatengezwa. Kwa sasa viwanja viwanja mbili ndio unaweza cheza usiku. Vikifungwa labda sasa hatutaweza. Kwa sababu tunazitengeza ndio miaka ya baadaye uwe sawa. Ukielewa hayo hakuna mambo ya ratiba utakuwa na shida. Katika hii contract Azam tuna envisage tutakuwa na provider mwingine wa free to air Azam ni pay TV. Nataka kueleza vizuri. So Azam ndio wanachukua mechi kwanza mechi zinazobakia zinaenda free to air. Kama tutafanikiwa kumaliza mambo ya free to air then ratiba ni kwamba Azam wanachukua mechi alafu TV ya free to air inachukua mechi na duniani kote hivyo ndio inafanya unapokuwa na ndugu yako ambaye anakufahamu vizuri anafahamu shida zako anafahamu mahitaji yako na anafahamu unataka nini na kwa wakati gani sisi ndio hao ambao tumekuja sasa tuweze kushirikiana kuweza kusukuma uh, mpira wetu wa Kenya mechi za kabumbu za ligi yetu ya Kenya zitakuwa zikionyeshwa live ama mbashara Uh, kupitia katika chaneli maalumu za michezo katika visimbuzi vya Azam TV kwa kiwango cha muonekano wa HD ama high definition quality. Huu ni ubora ambao utawafanya wa Kenya wafurahie uhondo wa soka lao la nyumbani. Vile vile Azam TV inapenda kutoa nafasi kwa wateja wetu kuweza kuiangalia uh, ligi ya Kenya kupitia sim janja ama smartphones kupitia Azam uh, um, app yetu maarufu ya Azam TV uh, Max app. Kwa hiyo wale ambao wanatumia app iOS kwenye iPhone au Android wanaweza wakafanya vizuri katika kuitazama. Popote ulipo, umeenda kaka Mega huko, huko Nyeri, huko Mombasa, umeweka Maporini huko, bado unaweza kuendelea kuiona vizuri na ligi yetu ya Kenya. Kwetu imekuwa ni shauku ya muda mrefu sana kwa kweli. Kuona wadau wa michezo na sekta ya michezo inaimarika na kuendelea kutoa ajira moja kwa moja na zile za ziada ambazo uh, zote kwa ujumla wake zina manufaa mapana kwa jamii yetu ya wa Kenya. Football Kenya Federation President Nick Mwendo right there and uh, the COO Azami in the country Yaha Mohamed saying that you know uh, they have uh, put this deal in place to help uh, grow Kenyan football and remember I'm still uh, with Roger Sistemi before I let him go two questions uh, for you Sistemi first uh, sports tourism that is something that has come out uh, in the unveiling of uh, this deal and money trickling to the clubs what do you have to say about that I think Yaya was very very uh, b very very point blank on what you are saying and blank on it because he said that uh, like in Tanzania money has been trickling down to clubs and that is why you see Tanzania clubs have been performing very well not only in their in their league but also continentally you see what Yanga did last season Simba have always been in the Champions League and it is a real statement that indeed once that money trickles down to the clubs definitely the players will be the biggest beneficiary but all this question has been about uh, the mismanagement of these funds. Sometimes, yes, they trickle down to the clubs, but you find those players are not really benefiting. So it's up to the Kenyan managers, Kenyan administration, to ensure that indeed, once this one million uh, dollar sponsorship comes into their pocket, they shouldn't misuse it because it's the players who have made this sponsorship come. And I will be very happy to see our players getting back to the years we used to be because you understand the legs of uh, Michael Olunga, the legs of uh, Eric Ouma, the legs of uh, John Omol, all those players they were they managed to go for paid ranks courtesy of super sport and other uh, television so if we do our things right that is the managers do their things right definitely there's nothing that's going to be impossible so it is up to us to ensure that we get we make good use of the money and take the talent that you know to the next level mm -hmm. thanks a lot uh, rogers h temi giving us his thoughts uh, on uh, this deal so i managed i uh, managed to grab uh, yeah mohammed uh, to you know speak to us and uh, he has given a challenge to our local clubs uh, to have what we call festivals. Remember in Tanzania, we have Simba Day, Yanga Day. Uh, he has challenged Gormaya FC, the likes, of, the likes of Kariobangi Sharks, Shabana, to emulate that so that there can be lots of competitiveness that can grow the league. Listen in. Sisi tunaya yangalia michezo kwa upana, lakini tunayangalia mataifa yetu ya Afrika mashariki. Tuatambua michezo ni ajira, lakini michezo ni uwekezaji, lakini michezo ni fulsa kubwa ya kuchangia kodi kwa ajili ya maendeleo ya mataifa yetu kodi ambazo tunaamini zinawanufaisha kuanzia uh, wananchi wa hali ya juu 
mpaka wananchi wadogo watu wanahitaji madawa wanahitaji huduma bora za elimu wanahitaji maji safi na salama ya kunywa lakini wanahitaji kuwa na malazi mazuri na wanahitaji miundombinu ya barabara ambayo imenyooka kupitia kodi wanaweza kufanya vizuri katika kila mataifa kwa hiyo mpira tunaiona ni kama moja sehemu kubwa ambayo inaweza kuhamasisha utalii wa ndani inaweza kuhamasisha shughuli za kiuchumi lakini katengeneza ajira mpya ambazo tutaelezea sisi kama wa Kenya mm -hmm. kuweza kujiajiri na hatimaye kuweza kufurahia matunda ya mpira. Kwa hiyo dili sisi si hatuiangalie tu kama a, kwa ajili ya maudhui katika Luninga mm -hmm. tunaiangalia kwa mapana makubwa kama ni sehemu kubwa ya uchumi na tunategemea itatusaidia kutukuamua katika hatua moja kwenda katika hatua nyingine kama wa Kenya. Mm -hmm. Na pingine wake, watu wanauliza mbona imewachukua muda kuingia katika soka humu nchini Kenya? Wanasema ni jambo la wakati katika uwekezaji ni jambo la wakati wakati mwingine unahitaji kulisoma soko unahitaji kulielewa soko kufanya utafiti lakini kuweza kuelewa uhitaji na pia kuweza kukusanya rasilimali za kukuwezesha kufanya kazi katika eneo hilo ili utakwenda kufanya sasa usiweze kuwa mtu wa kufanya kwa kubahatisha au kujaribu na kuondoka kwa hiyo tumechukua muda mwingi katika kufanya utafiti tumechukua muda mwingi kwenye kujiridhisha na kwamba tukija kufanya kazi tuna rasilimali za kutosha kuweza kuwepo hapa kipindi cha miaka saba ambayo tumeingia mkataba na shirikisho la Kabumbu la Kenya. Na pengine mkuna subscribers wangapi wako humu nchini na mnaona hiyo namba ikienda juu? Uh, namba imekuwa haikui vizuri kwa kuwa hatakuwa na maudhui ya kufurahisha lakini kwa kuwa sasa tumetegemea kuwa na mpira tunategemea sasa wa Kenya wataipenda bidhaa yao ya Azam na wengi watanunua, watajiunga na kuifurahia. Kwa hiyo mategemeo yetu sisi ni kuona tunakuwa na ukuaji mkubwa sana kwa kipindi cha mwaka uh, miaka mitano ya mwanzo. Mm. Tutapokuwa katika awamu ya pili ya kutekelezaji wa mkataba, pengine tukawa na idadi kubwa ya Wakenya kama sio kiasi cha karibu asilimia 20 mpaka 30 mm. ya watumiaji wa TV kuwa wanatumia huduma zetu basi itakuwa zaidi hapo. Na ulizungumzia timu za Kenya zinafaa ziwe na festivals kama Gori iwe na Gor Day, FC Day, Shabana Day. Uh, mbono kwa wapea, ukapea timu za humu nchini hiyo challenge? Na matamasha haya si tu yanaukuza mpira mm -hmm. lakini yameongeza ushindani na yameongeza chachu kwa watu kuwekeza katika kusajili wachezaji wazuri. Mm -hmm. Lakini imewekeza chachu kwa wachezaji kufanya vizuri kwa kuwa kijua mashabiki wanawatazama na mpira ni kitu ambacho kinawaunganisha wananchi wote wa matabaka yote bila kujali itikadi zao za siasa bila kujali dini zao wala rangi zao haya matamasha kwa ukubwa wake yanatengeneza yanatengeneza umoja ambao kwa namna moja ama nyingine una athari kubwa sana kwenye kuchochea ukuaji wa mpira ni mtu mwapa challenge ndugu zetu wa FC Leopard tumwapa challenge goal kwa majamani haya matamasha si kitu kidogo aya matamasha ni, ni kama vile ilivyo Christmas uh, kwa 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 Kristo kama ilivyo Eid festival kwa Waislamu basi na ninyi tuwe na festival katika football ndio hasa maana kubwa hiyo Now Football Kenya Federation pre, uh, Football Kenya Federation Premier League presidents were here and they said that uh, this is uh, a deal that is going to help uh, their clubs as the money is trickling down. I had a chance of speaking to some of them and want us to listen in first to what uh, Sofa Park president uh, Eli Kalekwa had to say. Eh hey, iko na muhimu kubwa sana. Unajua unaweza uza, unaweza nunua, unaweza ina promote vitu mingi sana tofauti. TV ni kitu ya maana sana kwa kila kitu yoyote ambao unaweza fanya kwa football hawezi operate bila tv lakini pamoja na tv ni kila kitu kwa hivyo tunajivuniana tunafurahia imekuwa ni kitu yenyewe tulikuwa tunasubiri kwa muda lakini kwa sasa sasa tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu wamegusa hawa jamana tunashukuru pia eh, rais wa, eh, wa, 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 wa wa Kenya kwa kutuletea hii tv manake wa FKF amefanya kazi kubwa sana kazi unajua since super sport yende tulikuwa ni kama watoto ya team yeah Uh, na nimesikia kisema pale kwamba uh, fedha zita trickle down to the clubs. Unafikiria hii itakuwa ni jambo kubwa sana kusaidia running of the clubs manake uh, kila mara tunasikia vilabu vya humu nchini wakisema kwamba uh, mara tuna pesa za labda za logistics. Unaona itakuwa imesaidia sana. Chochote kwa club. Unapoangalia hakuna hata kama yoyote anakuletea maji. Maji ya kunywa ni wa muhimu sana. Means club Kurani club si kitu rahisi ni kitu ngumu sana sasa tunaonesha vijana yetu vijana yetu banaweza uza banaweza nunuliwa banaweza uza hiyo talent yao kwa kutoka na maisha ya, ya, ya nje sisi wenyewe kama wenye club 
vijana watapata mapato kutoka kwa hiyo e, deal inamaanisha si deal ya bure ni deal iko na pesa e, club itapata hiyo kitu kidogo ni kusema haitoshelee lakini pole pole tutafika ndio na pia imese, wamesema kwamba uh, huu mkataba pia uh, sababu kutakuwa na mechi kwa TV utawasaidia kuuza wachezaji na pia kupata wachezaji wengine uh, maoni, maoni yako ndio ndio hauwezi uza na ununue bila TV, TV ni kila kitu ndio maana na uh, uh, always mtu akipata mzamini nashukuru uh, bado nitaendelea kushukuru hawa ngwana wenye viko kwa association kwa hiyo kitendo ambao wamefanya sana sana president unajua tumeishi miaka sikumbuke miaka ngapi bila TV na bila TV hakuna hakuna biashara yoyote tunaweza fanya sasa hivi tunaweza kauza tunaweza nunua tunaweza ku brand tunaweza fanya byote wenye tunataka kwa ligi yetu inamaanisha ni kitu ya maana sana kushinda vitu zingine Now on the other hand uh, Kariwa Bangi Sharks uh, president Robert Maoga says uh, that uh, for a very long time Kenyan football clubs uh, have been struggling now that uh, they have uh, a broadcast partner it will be easier to sell players in and sell and buy players in and out of the country and also it will help them in nurturing the youngsters that they have in their clubs great day for us um, especially for the team we've been in the cold for a while and uh, remember that uh, we are building a brand uh, Kenyan football has been in a very bad place and uh, just having uh, Azam come in is a very big positive step for us but as a team it goes to assist in what we are doing remember um, the business of football we need to nurture talent as you know in Kariobangi Sharks we get young young kids mm -hmm. and uh, we build them for the future and we need those resources uh, to do that so we are proud that today we have signed one uh, we are obviously looking for more because we um, when we look at our expenses monthly it's still a far cry but of course something that uh, goes to help us yeah so we are really looking forward to more sponsors coming in Yeah, and you know when uh, we had the unveiling taking place you know they say that this is a, a great avenue for even our clubs to sell players and as you say that you know you have a uh, lots of young players in your in your club and uh, from you know what you can uh, hear people say and read on social media your club has you know some of the uh, most promising players that we have in the country you know do you see this probably you know helping the economy in terms of uh, you know selling and buying of players definitely um, as you know we've normally been getting talent late and then we are not able to get value out of them so um, as a club we decided we have to go a step lower we have our under 13 under 15 under 17 that we will go to the grassroots and get new talent remember uh, to be in the business of football you need to understand football business So we want to do business. Um, I think we have done when you look back uh, the last big deal we did was Ulunga. That's a deal that we can talk about as Kenyans. But we need to be doing two or three more uh, every year. And uh, we hear a lot about our national team not being able to get to where it's supposed to be. But it's because we have not shipped as many Ulungas as possible. Get them early train them guide them put them out there in very difficult uh, uh, competitions for them to come and fight for Kenya mm -hmm. so we are looking forward to the young kids that we are having in our club uh, to gain the necessary experience early enough mm -hmm. so that we can uh, they can go out there and compete and now come back and fight for our country mm -hmm. and we need resources as you say uh, so we need this country to benefit from football and it has not because there are a couple of things that we need to do um, to do what we are doing now we need resources mm -hmm. to go and scout for these kids we need resources we put other kids in school uh, we pay their school fees so that they can concentrate in school and also in football so it's not a mean fit i mean we we do what we can but of course would like to help we need help from every quarter that we can get. Now aside from Kariobangi Sharks I also had a chance of speaking to Shabana president Anavutona and he says that uh, you know uh, Shabana fans are 
insisting that they want her to see the matches on uh, TV at the moment. They had even called uh, before even this deal was launched. Uh, they want to know where they can get the recorders to see their favorite players in action. Remember, Shabana plays uh, FC Talanta tomorrow at uh, Nyayo Stadium. So they want to see whether they can get to watch uh, matches as early as uh, tomorrow. So he also says that uh, this will help uh, the club in other areas. Let's listen. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you very much. And I know you've always been uh, with us. You followed Shabana and we are grateful. This is a great moment for Kenyan football. Not just for Shabana, but I think this is what Kenya has needed all along. So I wasn't expecting this when I got a lot called yesterday for today's meeting. But it's been very good. And actually this will help us uh, to Jenge Vijana. This is what we needed. We need, as uh, Mr. Kalekwa said, you know, if we play in, da in, the, in darkness, we are not selling our talent. So this is a very, a very, a very great occasion for Kenyan football, for Shabana. We are very happy and we hope that we'll get more sponsors like Azam. You are one of the clubs, uh, you know, in, in terms of uh, the uh, fan base that we have in the country, you are the third with the biggest uh, fan base that you have. How, how uh, you know, beneficial will this be to Shabana's fans? Uh, first, I want to correct you. Maybe we used to be third. Yes. I think as far as I'm concerned right now, we are number one. Because we can bring 70,000 people to the stadium, I think we should be number one. But this is good. This is good. Actually, even at the local level from yesterday, our people were asking, where are we getting the uh, decoders for Azam TV? Yes. So I think this is going to be very big for Shabana. It's going to be very, very big and uh, uh, will be good for, for, for the community and for Kenyan football. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, from the you know the meeting that was there, we from the unveiling of the contract, they say that you know the money will trickle down to the club. How will that be easy for you running Shabana? Uh, that will give us a big boost because uh, yeah we did get a sponsor, but I mean you know running football is very expensive. What we got is good, we appreciate, but it's not enough. What you know this will help us at least now sign more quality players. We can also do more for the team. I, I think this will help us a lot. This will, will give us a big, big boost that we needed uh, so much. Does this change the direction of football in Kenya? Uh, definitely it does. You know, if uh, there will be transparency and good management of the funds coming from the sponsor, definitely this will make a big difference in Kenyan football. And I think this is what everyone wants, as um, the CEO said, as the president of Kenya Football Federation said, if this is managed well, this will be great for the country. Yeah. And also, uh, Azam is calling for, you know, good management. Do you see that coming now into football in Kenya? Uh, that's my prayer. That's my prayer that uh, we get good management. Personally, I'm a good manager. I don't know. This is my first time in uh, Kenya Premier League. I hope that the president will honor his word and uh, that's what we are looking for good management is good for the talent it's good for the youth it's good for the country well uh, that is all about uh, the football kenya federation uh partnership with Azam. Remember, it's a seven-year deal worth one million dollars and it will uh, we'll see or rather we'll have a chance of uh, watching Football Kenya Federation Premier League matches live on uh, pay TV. Right about now, 